So to find the maximum or the minimum of a function, uh, first start off by analyzing how the function should look. If a is negative and a, a comes from the coefficient of the x squared variable, uh, always the number that's attached to x squared. Uh, the a, if it's negative, tells you that you have a graph that is uh, looking like this. Looks like a lowercase n. If a is positive, which is not the case for our function, but if a is positive, the graph looks like this. So if a is negative, your vertex is going to be the maximum. If a is positive, your ver vertex is going to be right here, so it's going to be a minimum on this type of function. So in this case, a is negative, so the vertex that we find is going to be a maximum for this function. So uh, to find a vertex for any quadratic, you can use this nifty little formula. The vertex occurs at negative b divided by 2a. Okay, and in this case, uh, well actually in all cases, b is always the coefficient of x to the first power. There is no x to the first power here. Or you can imagine it like this, plus 0x. 0x, because uh, you can't change the equation, uh, the, the function by adding anything to it. So plus 0x is really adding 0 b is 0 in this case. Okay, so for this function I'm going to do negative 0, which is just 0, divided by 2 times a, which is negative 3 in my case. The vertex occurs at x equals 0. Uh, that's the x-coordinate, but to find the full vertex, the vertex is a coordinate. We've got the x-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, you've got to plug in your x-coordinate into the function. And if you plug in 0 into this function, negative, uh, 0 squared is 0, Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. There. We use this to get the x-coordinate of our vertex. We plug that in to find the y-coordinate. This is where our maximum occurs.